These paintings are inspired by my travels around the world, and I commute quite frequently between New York and Florida, and then I travel to Asia frequently. And so what happens is that there, the space becomes a kind of la thin layered phenomenon that becomes almost a fictive landscape, and that's the space that I paint. I lay the canvas down on its back, and then I pour the shapes. So I use, a, I use a, a medium that keeps the paint very open, meaning wet longer, and I pour out the paint and it makes any kind of random and, and surprising shapes. And I use those shapes as a starting point to build the space. So it's all dictated by the shape of a random pour, which mimics the contingency of travel and also the fickleness of memory. <laughs> When I'm traveling, um, I, real, I take sketchbooks and I use a Tsi Lai Shui Bi. It's a brush pen, a felt pen from Taiwan that um, ch school children use to practice calligraphy. And I make sketches wherever I am, whether I'm on a plane, I have a lot of plane sketches, um, and, and wherever I happen to be, wherever. And um, then I use those sketches sometimes to refer to in my paintings later on. And the rest of it is gesture put together. So it's not really what a place looks like, but also what it feels like, the sensation of being in space and moving through space. Texture becomes a way of expressing climate and atmosphere. But further, in Chinese painting, it, it's almost as if Chinese painting taught me how to paint, because the, because the emphasis on sun or texture is such that paint almost becomes abstract and you're really trying to articulate the texture of a subject rather than uh, the image itself. So, so you get to image through texture and that's really meaningful to me as a painter. I grew up in Los Angeles and so I carry that memory with me and when I'm in subtropical places like Taiwan or um, Florida then, that, then the memory of that flora and fauna comes back, especially palm trees and ice plant and um, crazy flowers um, like bougainvillea and so forth. So, uh, so I always have that as a reference point that starts from early on. Um, and then, um, and then that comes back into the painting, but there's also Chinese painting techniques that I've learned where you learn, where you stylize form in order to briefly but succinctly uh, convey its essence. What I really love about my work more than anything is to start, is to start with that fresh surface, to pour out the paint, to see the color glowing through, almost like a watercolor, and to start seeing a space from that. It is like traveling. I look at it, I study it, and things start to present themselves. By things, I mean a particular kind of space that I start to build upon. And it's like making my own world that I, that I can communicate to others, that the world is something that's shared, but it's coming out of memory and experience. So that's magical that that can happen through visual means, which to me is the greatest truth.